Hello, Camp Tessa. Happy Wednesday. We are halfway through the week. Can you believe it? Now, yesterday I shared a song with you that was around the world with ways to say hello. Now, did you notice that after each hello, different type of hello, there was a pause there? That was for you to go ahead and repeat that hello after me. I'm sure you figured that out on your own and you did it all by yourself. But what I thought I would do is go ahead and play that hello again and let you practice those different ways to say hello. So here we go. Hola says hello in Spanish. Hey son, that's the word in Swedish. Jumbo says it in Swahili. Did you remember a lot of those ways to say hello from yesterday? I bet you did. I have 15 different ways to say hello that are in that song, but at the very end, I snuck in a 16th one. Do you know what it was? It was how you sign hello. It's like a salute. Hello. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our regular greeting song and I've added another instrument to the recording. So pay attention, see what it is, and think about what you might need to make that instrument for today. Hello, good day, you're looking mighty fine. Hey, what's up? Let's give a distance high five. We'll sing some songs and we'll play along. Then we'll bump elbows and say so long. We'll bump elbows and say so long. So what 
did I add to the song today? Yep, you're right, spoons. Do you know how to play the spoons? How many items do you think we need to make spoons? We're gonna connect them. What do you think we'll need today? Yeah, first thing that we need are spoons. You can get metal ones from the kitchen. I have two metal ones. I also have two plastic spoons. So go ahead and grab your spoons, two spoons. The other thing that we're gonna do is to be able to connect them, we need to kind of help keep them apart. So go and grab a paper towel. It can be a big one like this, or maybe you have one that has just the strips that are half the size. I like this size, this one worked better for me. So you can kind of figure that out as we make our spoons here to play, which one works best for you. And then the last thing to keep them together is a rubber band. I have a few here so I can show how to do the ones with the metal or the ones with the plastic. Once you have your spoons, your rubber bands, and your paper towels, we're gonna go ahead and put these together. The first way I'm gonna show you how to play, you only use the spoons, but this is kind of tricky. This is how you hold them to play them. You're gonna take your two spoons and you're gonna put them belly to belly. See how that part sticks out right there? I call that the belly of the spoon. And you're gonna put them together. And then you're gonna take your hand and wiggle your pointer finger. See that pointer finger right there? That's the one that's gonna go right in between the spoons. So I'm gonna put my pointer finger right there in between the spoons. And I'm gonna take my thumb and the rest of my fingers, this whole finger family, and wrap it around so that I have my pointer in the middle and everything else is being held. And see that little space right there? That's how we get a little clanky clank whenever we tap the spoons to play. And that's the space of you have to hold it together here, but you have to keep a space there. It's kind of tricky, but there are different ways you can play them. You can tap them. You can tap your leg. You can add an extra beat. Now in the video, I had a little roll that was in there. And what you do is you take your fingers right like this and you leave them really, really stiff and you take the spoons and you run them all the way down. So that's playing the spoons without them being attached. And sometimes they are attached. These are ones that I've had and use, they have a handle to them. But not everybody has spoons that are connected with a handle. So you can, you can play them a lot of different ways. And this is what we're gonna do. This is our way, our at-home way to connect them together is to, to give them kind of a handle there. So we're gonna take those two spoons and you're gonna go ahead and put them belly to belly. Do you remember how to do that? Yep, you got it, because you're smart. Y'all are too smart. Belly to belly. And that is what we're gonna do. That's the same way that it goes for all of them, belly to belly. We are gonna grab our paper towel and you're gonna fold this paper towel. So this one is kind of long like a hot dog. I'm gonna fold it over to the square. So there's our hamburger and a hot dog and a hamburger. And a hot dog, and it's getting smaller and smaller, and a bitty hamburger. Let's see if I can do it one more time. It's kind of a messy little hot dog. So we're taking our spoons that are belly to belly, and I'm gonna put this paper towel right in the middle. We're gonna hold that together. It's kind of moving here on me. And we're gonna grab our rubber band, Maybe you have one, we can do one. You can use more than one. And you're just gonna twist that rubber band on there. And so they're connected. They're now connected. And I still put my pointer finger right in between there. 
I put my finger family all the way around and there's a space that it makes that I don't have to worry about. <laughs> so now you can you can play. If you need to put more than one finger in there, that's okay. Just kind of play with it and figure out what works for you. But being at home and sometimes you can't go out and get everything, I thought these were just fun ways to do instruments at home. Now, we're going to do the same thing. You can also use the plastic spoons. They're kind of fun. So I'm going to hamburger hot dog myself down to put another piece in between the plastic spoons. And which way do they go? Belly to belly. Belly to belly. Paper towel. Rubber band. Three things. That's it. And there's a space that's in there. So they work too. It's a little bit different sound. So you can play with that and see what you think and um, play along with the songs and have fun with that. It's time for us to say goodbye. So grab an instrument, uh, maybe the spoons from today or something else that you've already made and you can play along with the goodbye song. And this is Wolfie. This is one of my dogs. He decided to hang out in here and snooze while we were making instruments and music. So for tomorrow, um, or well, really today, once you get your instruments made, I'd love to hear you play. And you know what? Do you have a pet? Maybe uh, include a picture of your pet or introduce me to your pet. That would be wonderful. And so thank you again. Happy Wednesday and I'll see you tomorrow.